Chris, I'll give you the first pick. I'll say because I'm in a good mood, I'll give you the first pick, but I'll give you the first pick even if I was in a bad mood. You do. You're very nice that way. I really appreciate it, and I'll take it every time, no doubt about that. Um, I'll go – I'm going to go, you know, a little game we haven't even hit on yet or I think it's under the radar, going to be kind of good, Pats versus Cowboys. And I want to go, like, Pats D-line – versus Cowboys O-line because I look at that as kind of being the key to the football game. You know, uh, the, the the Patriots, the Cowboys offense is awesome. It's awesome. There's no, there's no weak area. It's hard to think where you're going to stop them. You got no chance to beat them or stop their offense unless your D-line can kind of play out of this world good and at least slow the run game down to where now you can put more eggs in the we're going to stop the pass game basket. And that, to me, is going to go, you know, a, a long ways to who decides that football game. Um, but, man, the Cowboys, they're run first, really, and then they force your hand and they try to gash you with the pass game. And that's going to be interesting one to watch. You know, we always are looking for the next great quarterback rivalry, and there may never be another Manning and Brady, but... We're always trying to find the next one that could be up there. And we've talked already about Baker Mayfield and Kyler Murray. I'm not taking that one. You may take it later. I may take it later. I'm going Justin Herbert and Lamar Jackson. Oh. The, the, the future versus the sort of future. <laughs> we, we've, we've seen plenty of Lamar Jackson, and right. we saw plenty more from him on Monday night. But the Monday night before that, we saw Justin Herbert. And we've seen both of them play at a very high level. And the Chargers and the Ravens, cross-country game, two great quarterbacks who may cross paths in the playoffs, maybe this year, maybe next year, maybe the year after that. I, I think that this should be a fun one to watch. Yeah, I, I'm with you there. I mean, yeah, it, it's superstars right there. There's no doubt about it. You know, uh, Justin Herbert is, has reached top five quarterback in football conversation. There's no question about that. And you could maybe argue within the pocket he might be the best passer and thrower in all of football. So he's special, and we know how special Lamar is and the playmaking ability he has and how he wills his team to win games. So I'm with you there. That's a, that's a sneaky, really fun, exciting game to, on 1 o'clock on Sunday. I can't wait to watch. Um, I've checked in last year. They have not played yet. They did not play each other last right, year. So right. this is the first time they have ever faced off. All right. Um, I think the next one – I'm going to go with here is um, I'm going to go Sean Desai versus Matt LaFleur in the, in the Green Bay Chicago matchup. You know, the, the, the Green Bay Packers, they're a good football team. They're really sound and good on defense. The offense, of course, you know, with Aaron Rodgers, you know, their patience with the run game. They always have a few good wrinkles to make a few big plays in every game. And what I really want to say is just what's Sean Desai going to have, the defensive coordinator for the Bears, to take away uh, Devontae Adams. I mean, Devontae Adams, we know he's a hell of a player, but he's also always the guy that's put in the position to be the first read on almost every pass play. Like, we designed all this play, blah, 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 this guy's going this there, but we're going to look at Devontae first and go there. And they're not going to stop going to that well Green Bay, that is, until you take that away. And I love that about them. So I'm interested to see what he has or what he does defensively to try, kind of take Adams out of the football game or at least not let him go off and dominate the football game. Well, if you're going to leave Kyler and Baker on the board, I'm going to take Kyler and Baker because they have that longstanding connection. Kyler has a one nothing lead. The Browns need this one badly. The Cardinals have already exceeded any reasonable expectations yeah. for how they would start the season. It feels like it should be a correction. But then again, last week felt like it should be a correction, so... I'm, I'm going to be fascinated by this. And Murray is banged up. He's got a shoulder injury. Chandler Jones is on the COVID list. Rodney Hudson, the starting center, likely not available. So the Cardinals are going to be a little undermanned. But uh, Baker and Kyler, big brother and little brother, and little brother's been better so far, at least when they've played each other and so far this season. Yeah, definitely. It's I'm, I'm excited to watch that. I mean, it's two really good teams. I mean, you talk about stars and freaky players on a field – you know, all at the same time, wow, there's a lot of them in this game. And that's what's going to be fun to watch. All the weapons we know the Cardinals have at wide receiver, Kyler Murray, I mean, the defensive side with Chandler Jones and Isaiah Simmons and Buda Baker. I mean, they're superstars. They're superstars. And, of course, Cleveland with Miles Garrett and, I don't know, is Clowney playing? You know, Jadeveon Clowney and Jeremiah Owusu-Koromoa. 
And gosh, you know, their weapons and that offensive line, that is going to be an awesome game. I can't wait to watch that one. All right. I'm going to go, um, you know, old New England friends here on this one. You know, Tennessee and Buffalo, Vrabel, Mike Vrabel versus Brian Dayball. You know, last year they played, right? I think it was like uh, a Monday night game. Tuesday night game, yeah, 42 a, to 16. Right. It was domination by the Tennessee Titans in their defense. They were one of the few teams all year that kind of stymied, you know, the Buffalo offense and Josh Allen. And, of course, there's knowledge of that system from Vrabel knowing the New England system that way. So I'm interested to see how that kind of plays out because that was one of the worst performances of the year last year for Josh Allen. And we know Tennessee's defense, it's a little all over the place. Uh, but there is knowledge of other coach and system there. Uh, so I'm going to be interested to see how that plays out and what Vrabel can do maybe to take away you know, some of the big plays from that Bills offense. I was going to take one from that game. I'll take something else, but I was going to say Derrick Henry versus whoever in the Bills defense gets in his way because we <laughs> yeah. saw what he did last year to Josh <laughs> right. Norman right. when Norman got in his <laughs> way. And great. I still think we take we take Derrick Henry for granted. A hundred percent. I mean, the, the, what the guy's doing is historic, and he once had 46 rushing attempts in a game at Alabama. I remember when he was drafted, one of the knocks on him as – it happens with plenty of Alabama running backs. They get beat up by Nick Saban. They got nothing left. Well, he's got plenty, plenty. and he just keeps going. And it is phenomenal. And let's not take this guy for granted because you never know how long he's going to be able to keep doing it. All right. I will go Chase Young versus Patrick Mahomes. Oh, we saw you. Young get his first sack of the season. Mahomes, you know, the magic, for whatever reason, isn't at the level that it used to be. And we saw him run away from Nick Bosa in Super Bowl 54. I'm going to be curious to see if Chase Young gets around the edge, can Mahomes run away from him the way he ran away from Bosa? This is a good litmus test to see whether or not Mahomes still has that mobility that, that allowed him to keep plays alive for so long and make those spectacular throws. Is it still there yeah. after he had that toe surgery? Yeah, no, I, I'm with you there. I, that, that definitely was one that was on my radar, too. Because, again, Chase Young needs to be better, too, plain and simple. I mean, I mean it, you know, right now, when you look at guys that disrupt the quarterback, I, I'd go Montez Sweat and Jonathan Allen disrupt the quarterback more than Chase Young. So he's got to step it up, and he's going to be going against Orlando Brown there. And, of course, that defensive line, their defense is not good. So if they want to win that game, their defensive line is going to have to make a few plays to disrupt Mahomes. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.